<laughs> hey, what's going on there, YouTube? Angry Rancher here for vlog 12 in the Tarv vlog series. Got my dry cleaning, <laughs> which officially puts me in that echelon of middle class white business dudes. But nope, the Z Lennials have arrived at the dry cleaners. <laughs> no, I just figured I'd get my winter jacket all cleaned up and whatnot because. Well, it turns out, so this jacket was a hand-me-down from one of my from a, one of my parents. Um, it's a super sleek, like wi black winter jacket. Also has the Algonquin College logos on it. Like they literally don't make this stuff anymore. They literally do not make this stuff anymore. And this jacket in 2,000 money was about 200 bucks. And I found out. <laughs> I asked my parents, I was like, was this jacket ever cleaned? And they were like, uh, not that I can remember. But also it was like never worn. <laughs> I think they might have worn it <laughs> the uh, the first time. <laughs> like back in like the 0001 winter or something like that. And then just kind of sat in the closet as like an heirloom. <laughs> and then a couple years back, <laughs> I was uh, kind of complaining that my winter jacket, which was kind of, which I'm now starting to see the old jacket that I have pop had popping up everywhere now. I was kind of complaining it made me look like a 14 year old So they were like would this solve it and I was like you're goddamn right it would a leather winter jacket Finally, I can look at least like I'm 20 something Instead of looking like I'm in high school, which Was when I acquired said previous winter jacket also back then I used to have two winter jackets But one kind of tore and now that I've sort of taken up the branch of minimalism. I realize I only need about four jackets. <coughs> you need your solid winter one, which is this one. <laughs> uh, you need kind of a, an intermediary jacket, like one for uh, the, yeah, you know, the the sort of pre-t-shirt and shorts weather um, for spring, summer, and then one as we're starting to cool down in the fall. So that jacket sort of plays that role about 12 weeks of the year. That's still about three months. You get out of it <laughs> and then another one would be that you need uh, <laughs> I'd say two jackets for basically the rest of the year the six months of the year where it's relatively warm or it might be rainy whatever you know <laughs> you really only need Two jackets for that basically just so that when one gets drenched with rain you have another one to swap to <laughs> so I've got like a soft shell jacket and then of course a nice jacket that I also sent through the dry cleaners for the first time after two years of having it so now this is gonna be the third year that I'm gonna be wearing it in 2019 <sighs> but yeah I wanted to <laughs> take the day first off to uh, welcome our Sixth subscriber. Hey, what's up? Thanks for subbing to Tarv. And also, I wanted to kind of take a little bit of this time to <laughs> talk about this gorgeous weather out here and just about, uh, <laughs> and about the kind of the ire that I may have expressed about the holiday season before. So, First off, it's gorgeous out. Take a look. Friggin' gorgeous. <laughs> but <laughs> I wanted to just take a moment to talk about the kind of um, sort of frustration that I had definitely expressed here, uh, potentially on the Angry Rancher show, as well about um, the nature of uh, the holidays. Now, I haven't gotten any negative backlash, except for, of course, from my parents, as it always seems to happen. But, um, maybe just because they're annoyed. But at the same time, I don't... Hold on. I'm trying to just switch... Pro I can't hold properly here. Um, <laughs> I, personally, uh, was just upset because I don't like having my entire schedule to be worked around something I don't participate in, right? So because I don't participate in something, there should still be a way for me to be able to go about my usual business without having to be concerned about 
not being able to achieve my ends. Now, of course, going to the bank and going to the grocery store and all this other stuff, I suppose can be put off as it had to be until today. And I think today was the much better day. It's gorgeous out. It's going to be plus 18. I am in t-shirt and shorts. It's going to be amazing. Today is the best day, if any, to go out and do a lot of walking around. Because finally, we are, you know, we're five days away from my birthday. But more so, we're about eight days away from <laughs> Beltane, or May Day, which is a pagan holiday. And I'll talk a little bit more <laughs> about myself and paganism in tomorrow's episode of The Angry Rancher Show. So do be prepared for that in the Technological Ecosystems episode. Um, but as somebody who, you know, yes, okay, I'm not uh, an old world pagan because obviously we don't believe in the whole sacrificiary stuff <laughs> uh, anymore. Also because that's illegal. So we ain't going to do that. But neo-paganism is more about that spiritualistic aspect, right? And I've never been one to abide by such mainstream relegosity, such as that building, such as what that building represents, Jesus and all of that. <laughs> I've never been one to live by said rules. And I know for the people who knew me probably about... I'm going to say beginning of this decade, <laughs> circa 2010, <laughs> I uh, considered myself an atheist back then, and, by, and for me, my atheism came from what I called basically religious free agency. It was like, if I found something I was interested in, cool. If not, I guess I really didn't have quite the grasp at 14 on what the term atheist actually meant. <laughs> but I mean... <laughs> Knowing that I was raised in an atheist household kind of made me feel like I always had the ability to choose what I wanted to be a part of. And when at 16, I picked up the, the gauntlet for paganism and Wicca specifically. <laughs> because that just sort of hit home with me. And of course, I will do a vlog or two a little bit later on sort of talking about like what the, all that stuff is and what it's about and how exactly I partake in all of that. Man, I'm feeling the warmth of that sun. That's great. Where have you been all my life? <laughs> At least the last four months. <sighs> but, uh, but yeah. So, I mean, I picked up the gauntlet and the torch for that specific branch of, of paganism in of itself and <laughs> and I have slowly but surely over the last six and a half years or so because I, I picked it up in January of 2013 so I mean I'm past the it's definitely not a phase dad like I'm, I'm definitely past that and that was one of the things that I was kind of concerned with for myself at least was that did I not, you know, partake in it from any particular standpoint because of uh, a phase? It was something that I'll admit um, I was concerned about when I was younger because paganism is often used by a lot of like Christian teens as like their angsty face, so I'm gonna go get into magic. And then by the time they're like 18, they've dropped it and returned to Jesus. Like, so I was wondering if that was kind of it. <laughs> but I'm past that point now, I'm gonna be 23 and I'm still practicing just as I was. Actually, I'm trying to practice harder than I was when I was 16. That's what I'm working on, so by the time I'm 24, it's basically fully embedded into my life, but we can talk about that <laughs> at a later date too. <clears throat> and I can mean, I mean, I can also add <laughs> uh, to the Angry Rancher show list, uh, <laughs> uh, religious ignorance is an episode that I want to talk about. <laughs> but now the problem is I'm starting to get some good ideas together for season two of the Angry Rancher show for how I want that to be formatted. <laughs> 
that there's a few episodes I would rather save for season D. Season two. I would be making hand gestures, but again, I'm carrying this, and it's about 10 or 15 pounds. And it's got to, okay, it's got to be like 5 to 10 pounds. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. So you catch my drift. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about all that stuff a little bit later. This is by far the longest vlog that we've done so far. Just because I haven't normally had a whole lot to talk about. <laughs> but now that we're in well into the double digit vlogs, you know, <laughs> once we hit the, uh, the month of May, I want to try to make these daily things about 10 minutes, about 10 to 15 minutes long. And then what we'll do is go from there. It's called evolution. So, all right, guys. <laughs> do check me out at uh, the Angry Ranter 2019 on Instagram. I'm gonna post a selfie I took this morning <laughs> to promote the vlogs and, of course, tomorrow's episode of the show. <laughs> check me out on Twitter at Levy underscore Marcus, and uh, definitely check out the past episodes of the Angry Ranter show on SoundCloud, iTunes, and Spotify if you are not caught up because episode 11 technological ecosystems episode i don't have a title for it yet but <laughs> technological ecosystems episode i'm going to be preparing for today and tomorrow we're going to talk about it <laughs> and then next week's episode episode 12 i'm going to have a guest on the show i'm going to have my friend deanna and we're going to talk about white privilege all right so till next time till tomorrow peace out y'all <laughs>